Hey, yo, it's your boy, Pac-Man. We're back. We got the green, purple, Dofi list as requested in action today. And we're going against Yamato. This is my locals run. I got a couple more videos after this that I will go ahead and get edited and commentate over for you guys. Because you guys asked to see the list in action. And here it is. So you guys show me so, so much love. And I, I'm greatly appreciated on the deck profile. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and dive into this gameplay action. We're playing against Yamato today, a.k.a. Yami Tammy from Miami. And it's my fellow friend Moose over here piloting it. He's new to One Piece. And just like all the new subscribers that have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe, and turn those notification bells on. And get with it, you know. Ride this wave with me. Let's get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year. Because I will do a One Piece box giveaway if we get there for One Piece and my DBS fam as well. So I like to go second because I won the dice roll. You always want to go second with um, Dofi. And yeah, if you go second with Dofi, you, you just put yourself on a better curve because you want to see 10 drop um, on the curve if you get there. So he goes and swings five and plays a blocker. Um, I go ahead and swing five at him on my second turn and this is the turn where you want to drop nami he doesn't have a he looked like he had a trigger but he chose not to because he doesn't have anything on board um or i don't have anything on board and then he i play the nami and go ahead and search nami's gonna go ahead and find me a uda uda is so good in this deck and being able to play it off the luffy is phenomenal so we go ahead and pass our turn here and he's on his five down turn and it looks like um he, he, I believe he plays a body and swings seven at me here. Um, and yep, and I'm right. He plays the, the skillless or the vanilla and then throws a seven and leaves one down up. I'm taking that. I'm eating the first two hits most of the time because we want to generate our hand and try to, you know, find everything that we need. So that way we can do the wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. So we swing with the Nami for five. And I don't use the effect here because my favorite card in the deck is coming. And we throw another five and we get another card out of hand. So we played uh, six for Krieg. I was trying to get him to use his blocker, but he did not use his blocker. So it's neither here nor there, but we don't have the pitcher card to use Krieg's effect to KO anything. So we go ahead and pass turn. After we uh, pass turn, um, he goes ahead and plays a Kinemon here and then throws, I believe, a five at me. And I'm going to go ahead and counter it right now. Yep, with the Uda that he saw me search earlier. And I didn't want to give him any additional information. So now we're going into the uh, 8 Dawn turn here. Um, so we're almost at 10 where we could 10 drop. But we have a couple of different routes we can go here. So I'm actually going to, I believe, throw a 5 of 5. And then try to get a double in there with Creek. So the first swing, boom, I five, he out counters. And the second swing, he takes. And I was hoping he was going to out counter that to get more cards out of hand. But we kind of got the same result in in a way. So I got swung with the eight with Creek. And now he out counters. And then we go into Luffy Uda. So he knew I had a Uda in hand. But I countered it to kind of throw him off to see. And a lot of times when people counter, you want to counter things that your opponent already knows about if you can. Especially if you have multiples in. Um, so I pass the turn to him. He goes ahead and starts to plan out his turn. Um, we have two blockers. He swings with the uh, Kinemon first. I'm going to block. And then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Uda's effect and tap down the skillless. Because granted, yeah, we're going into 10 Dawn. Um, but if I hit a Thunder Bagua off of life or have a Thunder Bagua, I can get the Dawn back. But I don't think we do that. And he goes ahead and plays the Ace, puts one Dawn on the leader, and swings for six. We just free block it with the Luffy since Luffy's a seven. So we untap. He has no blockers here. He has two cards in hand and no Dawn up. So this is a great opportunity for Krieg to get in there. Um and just do his work so i throw a five at the um skillless because i don't want him to have a board i look at his um 
card for the Kinemon. I'm like, all right, cool. If I throw a seven here at the Kinemon, maybe I can get him to pitch those two cards in hand and use the effect. So I throw the seven and he just out counters it. And I'm like, okay, well now he can't use the effect if I throw another seven at it. So I was like, all right, we'll throw the next seven or the eight. Um, he gives me a 2K. And I was like, all right, cool. No cards in hand, seven. We just turn our Luffy sideways. And then we pay five for the Guild to Sorrow, I believe, is here coming. And this is where I want to see Guild to Sorrow right before my Tendon turn. Um, because I can drop the Dofi down, take my selfie, and then go ahead and draw two cards after. Now, granted, I couldn't take a selfie with Moose because I was recording on my phone. So I actually got to make sure I bring my iPad next time so I can just take the selfie with my iPad. So he goes ahead, draws a card. He has one card in hand, and we just have a huge hand here. We have all the hand advantage in the world, and we have a great position to win this game. He loads Ace up and swings, and I believe he's going to swing at my Krieg. And I'm like, nah, you can't have my Krieg. I don't, I don't want Krieg to die. Krieg's got to get in there. And Krieg just, it, it just changes the game because now my leader is a 6K leader versus being a a 5k leader because of Krieg and it's just really really good here so and I'm sorry a 7k leader because Krieg is seven um I go ahead and thunder Bagua, I mean not thunder Bagua, punk Gibson give him four and then combo one I didn't want to combo the Bart because the Bart is so sick being able to have Bart on the board with the guilt of and you could just untap untap which is really good I out counter the hit again and he passes turn he leaves two up and I'm like, all right, um, ooh, excuse me. Leaves two up, and then after the two that he leaves up, we go ahead and think about uh, arrow. And I should have put more cards on, or more, um, should I say, Don on the Creed? Um, here, and actually, this is not where it happens. Um, I just swing the, uh, the seven at the Krieg with the Krieg. Throw a, f a five at him. Uh, and that's where I messed up. I actually should have went five, then six. And I was like, oh, no. He out counters. And then we would just rewind the game state because he's a six. And I forgot, even though I saw the Dawn, the Dawn's all underneath it. And I just like, oh, no, nah, we can't do that. So I left the, uh, the uh, Nami sideways. Um, just for that reason, because we already swung with it, and I didn't want him to uh, to lose um, a free card. Granted, you always want to throw the five in the tournament and see if somebody out counters, um, even if you don't uh, deal the damage. So he plays a body, pass the turn, put a Don under leader, and now he's leaving Don up to play for his outs. So I throw the double here, and this is where I was talking about earlier. He hits me with this Thunder Bagua. Now, granted, it takes the last card out of his hand, but I think that even still, I have one, two, three, four, five attacks. If he doesn't use the effect, um, if he does use the effect, I go down to four attacks because his only target is my Nami. And he can put my Nami at the bottom of my life with the Thunder Bagua. And that's what we're going over right here. Just being able for him to, to uh, read his cards entirely. So that way he knows for the future. So we throw the uh, double and he out counters it. We throw the six at the leader. Look at top three at a 2K. He takes that damage. Then we throw another six, draw two cards. He takes that damage. And then we just load up everything else here on Dofi. And that's game. And it was a good game for him. Uh, we're going to get his Yamato list up to par. If you guys like the gameplay, please drop some comments. Tell me what you think. More gameplay videos is coming soon. And remember, if anybody's got a problem with you, tell them to kiss your ears because that's what I do. Peace.